Hi, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com and our series on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. In this episode, we're going to look at email and messaging on your Samsung Galaxy Tab. Now, as you can see, the email application is included right here in the dock and that's there by default. We can also access uh, this application or any other by tapping on the uh, full applications list there. So let's enter into our email account. Now you can see we are presented with a pretty standard view on our messages. We can scroll through, tap to read. However, we can also, if we turn it into landscape mode, excuse the uh, gadget stand sitting in behind here, we get a different view on our email. So now we can actually uh, view our email inbox here, tap on any email message to view it in a full preview here. Now anytime we have a message open, we can tap on this button here and that'll allow us to move uh, a message into a folder. So here you can see inbox and trash, standard folders that any Gmail account has. These are all uh, folders that we've actually set up. Now we have to set up the folders on Gmail on a desktop or laptop PC. We can't actually do that uh, in this application. We can also tap the button uh, beside that one to send a message to trash. Goodbye. And at any time with a message open, we can tap on this button to either reply to the message or forward the message to a, to a list. And at any time, we can also tap on the Compose button, which is on the far right, and we can um, address our message. If we tap on the Contacts button here, we open up a full listing of all of our, uh, all of our contacts. Now, we can send to multiple addresses by tapping on the Check button here, and then choosing Add. We can do the same thing in the uh, CC and the BCC fields. Now what we need to do is uh, enter our subject, enter our message, and hit send. We can also choose to attach a file. Now these are files that are uh, either stored on our SD card or in the phone memory. Sorry, the tablet memory. So we can choose to attach pictures, uh, basically anything that's within our file directory here. Tap on this button to exit out. And if we hit at home, we get taken straight back to the home screen. Now let's have a quick look at uh, SMS and MMS messaging. So if we open up our applications list here and choose messaging, now we're able to compose SMS messages to our friends. At any time, we can press the compose button to enter into compose mode. Now we can either type in a name or we can actually input a phone number directly. And then if we hit next, we actually type in our message in this field. Now we can also tap the attachment button and our SMS message will turn into an MMS message. We can choose to attach a picture, video, audio, and as you can see, several other different uh, categories here. Now finally, we'll show you how to change the signature in your email. So by default, it'll uh, come up saying sent from my Samsung Galaxy tab. So now we're entering into our email accounts here. And if we tap the menu key, we're, actually, we're presented with some settings. So now, if we go to Account Manager and select the, the account that we want to work with, now we can see here many of the options that, uh, that are associated with our account. We can change our um, outbound message name, the name that will appear on our outbound messages. But what we're interested in right now is changing our signature. So you can see here, this is the uh, default sent from my Samsung tablet. So we can delete that and add in anything we want to here. So for example, we can just type in uh, butterscotch. Now we could add in our phone number, alternate email addresses, all that kind of stuff. That way anyone that receives an email from us on our Samsung Galaxy tab will have all of our contact information. So that's a look at SMS and email on the Samsung Galaxy tab. For How Do I on butterscotch.com, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. Be sure to check out other episodes in this series for more detail on the Samsung Galaxy tab.